Gentlemen, I give you the future. This is the come up show that feel good music lives real recognize real it's your boy Chetto we're here at the call the office this is number four who do I got with me right now decisive hello captain decisive is here steering the ship tonight who's, who's, who's along hi I'm, I'm moonshine I have DJ Tech 12 my name is DJ Producer Tech 12 and I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada and I work with a gentleman named DL Incognito and I'm a new member of DL's camp and, or not DL, of Decisive Camp and we're doing uh, music right now and it's amazing. We're changing lives. Number one rapper, a double laughter with no signs of slowing down. I'm going after the gold. And after that, the platinum. Then assassinate my fans with a nice cold blast of lips. We're currently on the Jonestown Goodbye Tour with my son, The Hurricane, who is sound checking right now. And if, now speaking to all you viewers out there, um, let me ask you guys a question. And I've been asking the crowds. The, we've reached about maybe two... 170,000 people in the past four days. So we've been asking them every night, like, what do you think is would be like the most valuable ship? I'm gonna ask you this question, Chetto. Like, what would you think is the most valuable ship? Like, us maybe a solid gold ship? Maybe a ship that's like covered in diamonds? Uh, I'm not gonna go with the name. I'm gonna say a, a ship with a helicopter pad and a, a, a club downstairs, a studio, a recording studio in it. A ship with a recording studio. But is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Now I hate to do this because you're a good friend of mine. Okay. You were wrong. Do you want to know what the right answer is? What's the right answer? It's friendship. Friendship is the most valuable ship. The friendship. That's that's the most valuable. Friendship. Can I be part of this ship? Yeah. You are on this ship. We're the ship of friends. The most valuable ship. Beverages laughing, and when the clock strikes 12, that's when my world stands up. Frowns turn to capital U's. I demand you to grab a cup and drink until the cup's bone dry. So, this is this marks my fourth appearance. You really want to be classified because you know, classified has five. He's been on the come up show five times, and you're really aiming to beat this, aren't you? I have to, yeah. Why? Because I because come up show. You guys are major supporters of myself and my team, and I think it's important that I've been on it the most times. It's kind of like when you go, who who was it? Like comedians that were on, like the Johnny Carson show. Like you know, it was very like Carrot Top. Like Carrot Top. Like Carrot Top. Like he's been on the Johnny Carson show, like a record-breaking 63 times, right? So I want to be the Carrot Top of the Come Up show of your Johnny Carson. You know, you can tell you worked vaudeville because your voice projects. When you talk, you you talk with projection because in those days they didn't have microphones, right? Oh no, we never had mics. No, no. Can we we have them now. <laughs> <laughs> like it's 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 split down the middle. I get a lot of emails of people telling me, "Hey, I saw you on the Come Up show." That Chetto, he's very Johnny Carson-esque. And then on the other half, I get a lot of emails like, hey, what's up with the armpit stains on the last Come Up Show appearance? <laughs> they were very big, but I think I want to clear that up with, with the viewers out there. They weren't stains. There were stains. No, it's, well, what would you, I don't know what to refer to it as. Perspiration. Perspiration from just rocking the show. It's totally cool, man. Nobody hates on Colby in the fourth, man. He smashed that show. But I just came off stage. You just came off stage and you're like, yo, Chetto, let's do this interview right now. You just wanted to do it fast. Nothing. Right. Right, guys. Right. Nothing. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I want to talk about the live show, okay? And hip-hop live shows, you know, some MCs are just on there, you know, you're not really interested. But your live shows, I've brought friends who have never heard your music before, and as a show, they bought an album because you entertain them. Not only the music, but you as a human being. Yeah, you, all of you guys entertain them. Basketball testicles. Those are big. Guns! Look, we're not even fucking gangster, Evelyn. Well, we're a little bit gangster. 
Last night, actually, Mark, we were in Windsor, and it actually marked the first time that we had girls scream for us, and I had to address it. I had to say, hey. And then one kind of told you, like, yeah. But I said that she looked like Alicia Cuthbert, star, uh, co-star of the hit television show 24. And Girl Next Door, a, a great a hit movie. Hit movie, uh, blockbuster. Which has just been released on Criterion yeah. Collection, The Girl Next Door, yeah. who's a very pretty actress. And I said, you look like Alicia Cuthbert. And she didn't know who Alicia Cuthbert was. I think I might not know. Is it The Girl Next Door, is that the movie that came out a while ago? Or just yeah, came out, or? it came out a while ago. She used to be on PMK Kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? And now that you guys are, like, getting iller with the editing, right now you can put, like, a little square of her right here. Yeah, right there. Right there. Right here. Here's Alicia Cuthbert. Here, here, Alicia Cuthbert, right there. So she didn't know who Alicia Cuthbert was, and then she just looked up at me, and was just like, fuck you. That's what she did. I said, hey, she's a good-looking girl. I'm not insulting you. And she's like, fuck you, you fucking suck, fuck you. Yeah. But I think I think we won them over at, or won her over at the end. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Speaking of of armpit sweat, today, so we pulled in, we pulled into London, and we this is a jam packed interview. I'm just letting you know. Okay. So we pull into London, and you know we've been in the car for a long time. I'm like, you know, you guys have a really big old navy, you know? Like, do you know the old navy? By uh, by White Oaks Exeter, I'm thinking. Yeah. The highway right after the highway. Yeah, right up. Yeah, and it was huge. And I'm like, I would like to go into that old navy. Because they have really good bargains, right? And I walked in, I was like, this is fucking huge. But maybe it's just bigger because in Toronto, sunshine. So I was like, that was a big, that was a big old Navy. But but in Toronto, they're all like different floors. So I don't know, maybe it all adds up. Anyways. We we well it can't show now because this is my off stage like comfort clothing. You'll see me. I wear smaller jeans now and smaller shirts. Have lost 17 pounds, so I like to show that LBSs. I like to refer to them as. So, but like when I'm out and I'm just that's why I'm wearing these shoes. These aren't these are clays, right? The, yeah, these aren't quite um, shoes to wear with jogging pants. But hey, you know it is what it is. So I make my own rules. And like when I'm out out and about, I wear smaller clothes. But a member of our of our posse, Kyle Lundy, he still dresses like a member from Swift and Mes Smith and Wesson from 1996. You know Timberland boots. But and Tech 12, who, who is a trained stylist, an educated stylist, he's been trying to get him off that. And we went into Old Navy. Tech 12 actually bought him a new shirt and shoes. Kyle, come over here. Let the viewers of the. We can cut to some older footage of Kyle Lundy. You're in the jungle, baby. Look at this, this is a new shirt, and look at his new shoes too. Like a grown man. But he still has the treble clef hat. And hey, viewers of the Come Up Show, get, hit me up on the Twitter. It's, it's D-S-I-S-I-V-E, and just let me know how much you really appreciate how he looks, because I still think he's a little insecure about it. Am I right? It's a tough transition. I feel like I can't really, like, move much, but I don't move a lot anyway, so, you know, so, so it works out. You can tweet, tweet or him at Cold, cold Wax Music. Tweet or him. Tweet or him. Tweet or, tweet or Moonshine. Tweet or Tech 12. You can tweet or me as well. on Twitter. Yeah. Tell us all about, about Kyle's transition into manhood. We would all like to hear about it. Tonight is also a special night. I love coming to London, and I come to London very often. One of the few cities that has me back a lot. Um, I'm, we're sharing the stage with... Well, My Son the Hurricane, which you will be interviewing, yes. and I'm sure that will probably come out before this because they're a bit more, they're better. And, uh, but, but we also have a performer who is family, and I want to bring him over, Mr. Tim Puck too, right here. He is crew member. Hey, everybody, it's Tim Buck too. Is this your first appearance on the Come Up Show? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe my first appearance on the come up show. We are a part of a group. Let's let you go. I talk too much. You guys explain the group. Moonshine. Yeah. What? Tell them about the group. Okay, so we're in a group. Mm -hmm. And? It's called the Wolves. It's it called the Wolves. It's Who's this, in it? Who's this gentleman right here, Decisive, is in it. Uh, Moonshine is in it. 
uh, and my boy Ghetto Socks from Halifax is in it. Uh, he's not here right now. And I'm Cinebook 2, and I'm in it, and Bix is handling the production. Mr. Bix. And it's a powerful, vicious assailant. It's a force for good in the universe. It is. Or evil. It's a force, a force for evil. Maybe more than a force for good. But with good intentions of doing evil deeds. Kerosene soap, towels in the gas tank, cash from the casino. Like Ray Liotta, Wayne Bronx, Scorsese. And we, I, I, we have a single circulating the World Wide Web currently called Air Pump in a Mushroom Cut, which you can download on any of our social networking pages. For free. For free. For free. You know how much that is? Zero dollars. And zero cents. Yeah. And no tax. I also twat, uh, twat, twit, twat, tweet, twat, what is it? Twat, yeah. Twatter. Uh, you it's twat. Timbuktu Raps. That's me. At so you can tell rap. me about Kyle Lundy's outfit too if you're, if you And other it. things. Anything, really. Wait. You can talk about anything. Wait. Don't you also have a new project out? Oh, I do. Coincidentally. Does anybody have one for me? Choke? Yeah. Choke? Yeah. Right here, right here. Uh, Chokes. We are London, you know, we are London, you know, royalty. We came from London. This is where we were birthed. And uh, Toolshed is the name of the crew. That's my boy Choke over there. Get Choke over here, maybe. Hey, I don't know. Get over here. And we did this this record. It's, it's a long story. You got to read the liner notes to really know the inside story of this album. But it was a lost record that was going to blow up in 2007 or so. It, was it didn't for certain reasons. And now it's re released and revamped with new remixes and all sorts of stuff. And it's me and my boy Choke and my boy Cybo, who lives in BC right now, it's on Spirit Quest. But. Um, Shamanic. Yeah, it's a shamanic, shamanic spirit quest. Or shamanic. We don't know how to pronounce it. Ask Saibo. Yeah. Yeah, Saibo knows. That's him in the middle with the Dan Aykroyd cigarette hanging off of his lip. You know, like in that scene from Ghostbuster? Like he prayed of no ghost. Yeah, like no, he's not. Holding Definitely that not. cigarette on. Anyway, this is new album. It's come, uh, this is kind of a release party. It's a little early, but phone's ringing. <laughs> But anyway, we're gonna uh, we're gonna release that tonight. So lots of new projects going on. The squad is crazy. The, the posse squad is crazy. crazy. It actually, we are probably the craziest squad of squads. Like crazy. Like crazy. So many like projects. Crazy. So many projects. Yeah. We don't stop. The train doesn't stop. The train will never stop. It's never gonna stop. Mm. It's a it's a network of people, isn't it? Yeah. We're like uh, Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang Clan. We're like the Wu Tang Clan. Yeah. We're like the Wu Tang Clan. Any, 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 anything else that you guys want to say, man? When I was in Ottawa, uh, Tech 12 and myself were doing radio interview with DJ Duckett, who was also a great friend of mine. And we did a great interview. And uh, so then we, we were done the interview, and then we were just kind of hanging around the station until we had to go back to the venue. And I was talking to the co-host with him, and uh, I was just like, man, this guy looks familiar. And I kind of excused myself and went out and like Googled him. Like I just Googled who I thought it was. Got the name. I came back in. I go, Kyle. I go, ask that guy what his name is. Asked him what his name was. And it was his name. His name was Greg Campbell, the other member of Organized Crime. Really? That wasn't Tom Green. And that was fucking amazing to me. Because that, and I'm being serious right now. I'm not even trying to make a joke out of it. Yeah. That record was like very influential to me when I was young and it inspired me to want to rap and to make music and that was like that was a great moment so that was like one of the great moments of this tour that's amazing man and to come to come across that and not expecting that yeah, like you know what I mean not knowing at, at all uh, here we go ready to set it off from coast to coast with the most and it there's no Organized rhymes here to start it up. You got some trouble with your mouth, you better shut it up. I think twice before yakking, trying to tackle the funky stuff. I eat you suckers up like meat on a shish kebab. <laughs> but you're going to just the cop. Wanna go with the kiss the cop? What? So here's a bit of something new. <laughs> give me a group and salute, and I'll give you my boot. I'm playing equestrian. I got rhymes, but I'm just a pedestrian. I just saw like a land of Calrissian. I talk smooth like land of Calrissian. Uh, <laughs> to the leaders of the convoy, make some noise for the boys as it ain't noise. Keep your mouth in the open so you can speak up. If you can't, here's a hanky to clean your weep up. We're ready to rock with no type of coincidence. Check the OR. I fucked up a few lines there. Yes, he did. But the idea was there. It's been a long time since I... But I, it's been a long time. So if you're watching this, Greg, 
that wasn't like I still had the flow and I still had it. It had the heart. That was not it. Like, and yo, and we're gonna work together. And now we have to work together because he's an incredible producer. Now we have to because it's on the internet. And uh, maybe, maybe I can be the new organized rhyme member. We don't need Tom Green. We got the bomb green. Whoa. That's what I call marijuana sometimes. That's cool, man, because marijuana is green. So everyone hit... Not I smoke purple stuff, though. Oh. But uh, if any of you hit me up on the tweeter, hit Greg up on the tweeter, let him know how much you guys want me to be the next member of Organized Rhyme. Tech, Kyle, get over here. We got to say our goodbyes to the Come Up Show. Number four, wrapping up on the Come Up Show, where that feel-good music lives, real, recognized, real. This is a friendship right here. Hi, everybody. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. We are the world. Everybody get over here. Everybody get over here. We are the children. My son, the hurricane, everybody. Get over here. We are the ones who make a better day. So let's start giving. Get, come on, come here, come here, come here. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we make a brighter day, just you and me. One more time with the last line. It's true, we make a brighter day, just you and me. Thank you very much, Come Up Show. And we out. Friends. That was a friendship.